Test 4. You will hear a number of different recordings and you'll have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you'll have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1. Section 1. You will hear a conversation between a student looking for a host family and a housing advisor. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. Um, I understand you help fix up students with host families. That's right. Are you interested in... Uh... Yes. Well, please sit down and I'll just take a few details. Oh, thank you. Right. Now, what name is it? Jenny Chan. Can you spell that, please? Yes. J-E-N-N-Y C-H A-N Right. And what is your present address? The student's name is Jenny Chan. So, Jenny Chan has been written on the form. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. Um, I understand you help fix up students with host families. That's right. Are you interested in... Uh... Yes. Well, please sit down and I'll just take a few details. Oh, thank you. Right. Now, what name is it? Jenny Chan. Can you spell that, please? Yes. J-E-N-N-Y C-H-A-N Right. And what is your present address? Seaview Guest House, 14 Hill Road. OK. And do you know the phone number there? Yes, I, I have it here. Um, uh, two two three seven six seven six. But I'm only there after about seven p.m. So when would be the best time to catch you? I suppose between nine and let me see, half past before I leave for the college. Great. And can I ask you your age? I've just had my 19th birthday. And how long would you want to stay with the host family? I'm planning on staying a year, but at the moment I'm definitely here for four months only. I have to get an extension to my permit. You're working on it? Mm. Fine. And what will be your occupation while you're in the UK? Studying English. And what would you say your level of English is? <laughs> um... Good, I think. I'd like to say advanced, but my written work is below the level of my spoken, so I suppose it's intermediate. Mm, certainly your spoken English is advanced. Anyway, which area do you think you would prefer? Um, well, I'm studying right in the centre, but I'd really like to live in the northwest. That shouldn't be a great problem. We usually have lots of families up there. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10.
Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. And do you have any particular requirements for diet? Well, I'm nearly a vegetarian. Not quite. Shall I say you are? It's probably easier that way. <laughs> that would be best. Anything about your actual room? Uh, I would prefer my own facilities. En suite, is that right? Mm -hmm. And also, if it's possible, a TV. And I'd also like the house to have a real garden, rather than just a yard. Somewhere I could sit and be peaceful. Is that all? Well, I'm really serious about improving my English, so I'd prefer to be the only guest, if that's possible. No other guests. Yes, you get more practice that way. Anyway, obviously, all this is partly dependent on how much you're willing to pay. What did you have in mind? I was thinking in terms of about 60 to 80 pounds a week, but I'd go up to 100 if it was something special. Well, I don't think we'd have any problems finding something for you. Oh, good. And when would you want it for? I'd like to move in approximately two weeks. Let me see. It's the 10th today. So if we go for the Monday, it's the 23rd of March. Yes. Right. Good. And if I could ask one last question. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. <laughs> Now turn to section 2.